Greetings WordPressers, Jackson here. Welcome to the channel. Nice to have you as always. Got to be honest, got to hide my excitement slightly on this one. It's not very often that uh, I come across a plugin and it blows my absolute socks off. It's happened and um, quite randomly searching the plugin repo for something completely different and stumbled across what is quite honestly one of the simplest and most useful things I've come across for block theming in about two years. Almost a bit miffed that I hadn't discovered it sooner because I think it's been out at least possibly a year, maybe seven months. Anyway, pop-up modals, modal boxes that pop up when you click on things or when the page loads, pretty all over the place. I mean, I did a video years and years ago about that and it was huge. But with block theming, unless you use a dedicated plugin, I mean, this is a dedicated plugin, but unless you use a quite heavyweight plugin, there's nothing really out there outside of some of the block theming framework plugins, you know, your Spectras, etc. There's nothing, no, there's nothing really sort of like that just kind of does the job simply and effectively. And anyway, look, I'm rambling. This, this plugin is absolutely mental. So lightweight, I cannot begin to tell you. It's a cinch to, you know, to set up within milliseconds. And it's obviously got all the various uses that you could put a pop-up modal to good use for. I'd like to thank Cloudcatch and uh, David Jensen for this quite sensational, simple, effective, and ultra lightweight plugin. So let's just get on with it. It's the awesome light modal block. Let's get modeling. 2024 vanilla install here. Just added a few pages in. Let's get to our back end. We've got a child theme running on it actually, 2024 child. You can download that for free in link is in the description. Let's go to our plugins, let's add new and we're looking for the light modal block. Should be at the top, right? It's not, it's about four rows down, install now. Activate that. No settings page, no plugin page. It's just a block that does modals. Let me show you. Let's go to our pages and we'll do something with our about page. So you create a modal block and you can have it trigger on page load, which I'll show you in a sec, or on anything with a class selector that you add. Let me show you. If we, for example, wanna add a pop-up to this about us button, if we add after that and find a block called modal, light modal pop-up, there, there it is. And you see we can throw in a heading, you know, more about us, throw in some text. Look at that, isn't that cool? Let's update that, keep our work saved. Now on the actual modal, let's have a look at the settings. We'll give that a name, more about. So you can control the width and stuff at this stage. Show or hide the close button. Uh, there's the show on page load, show you that in a sec. And here's the selector, the CSS class that we can add to anything on the page that will, when you click on it, it will open this modal. So let's go more about, copy that. Although we need to put the, the dot more about in there. We'll copy that and on the button, we'll add that class here, no dot. Let's have a look at what this is saying on the front end, refresh and Bang, tutorial done, dusted. There's a few other bits, but I mean, goodness me, isn't that as simple as it could possibly be? Uh, obviously you can do some styling on this. There's a styles tab and you can adjust the padding, you know, change the backdrop color to, you know, something that you like. Default padding seems fine to me every time I've used it. Add a border, put some radius in, which is a bit more in keeping with 2024 and that kind of, jazz and that's kind of it i mean do you need any more i don't think so let me quickly show you what this um what this trigger on page load does so show on page load and we can sort of give it a delay say of 600 milliseconds the cookie duration is essentially you know if if they've seen it if the user's seen it once then set a te you know minute timer that, that they see it again i mean this is not about a full-blown pop-up with all the bells and whistles, but it does give you a little bit of options for using it as a show on page load, 
Let's show you show you that. Back to our front end. Refresh. Half a second later, we get our pop up. Isn't that nice? So about this other use case, which I think is particularly nice. Let's go back to our editor. We're going to open a new tab and go to the editor and we're going to go to patterns and we're going to look for our, our header. Let's edit the header. The idea is that instead of the contact link going to the contact page, it's going to be a pop-up, a contact as pop-up form. Let's get that going. So we'll add after there, we'll get our modal chosen. We'll call this one contact. We'll have the selector that's going to trigger it called contact modal. Let's get some stuff in there. We'll get our header. Get in touch. And we'll get a form in simple contact form. Now on our nav, on our contact link, instead of having the URL, we'll just get rid of that by giving it a blank anchor and we'll get the advanced opening and I'll, we'll get our contact modal class on there. Save that, save that front end refresh contact form on menu site wide let's get that styled up a little bit like we had before save that and yeah that's a bit better right responsive let's have a look it doesn't matter so much when you are not triggering it from the menu i'll show you what i mean so if i go into phone mode it will always be responsive out the box, which is great. It's not about that, actually. It's about the fact that, let's just go here for argument's sake. It's that if we go into mobile view and we open up the nav menu and we click contact, we don't see it. If we close it, it is actually there. Look, see what I mean? So what that is, is, is that on the, let's get the inspector open. On the, the menu pop-up, which essentially is another modal, which is called modal one, that's the WordPress modal. That is sitting above the pop-up form modal. So we just need to reduce the Z index of that. So on modal one, we'll give it a Z index like a hundred. And now when we click that, we get our contact form, which is super cool. So all you just need to do is just copy that, open your code editor, in your styles.css, get that in there. And simple as that. So every time now that will show and you can have a fully responsive site wide pop up that actually works off your menu as well. Right. Let's talk about overhead. How much is this costing us this modal on file size and impact to our page size? Let's go to network and we have a little search for our light modal. It's 5k. You know, I said lightweight. It's literally 5k. Now that's, that's the overhead of the plugin when it's on the page, only when it's on the page. It's not site wide, only when it's on the page. And of course, what you put inside the modal will clearly have an overhead on the HTML and the DOM and all that sort of stuff. So bear that in mind. But 5K for this modal, it's absolutely sensational. Thank you. Thank you, Cloud Catch and David. Absolutely made my year. Stonking, absolutely knock it out the park stuff for me that. Uh, anyway, it's all about block theming. If you want some more block theming action, check out that one. But until next time, I shall see you later.